Today I'm going to show you how to use Canva to make a digital mock-up for your balloon designs. The one that I'm going to show you today is for an event that I have coming up where a client asked for Spider-Man balloons. So my vision is that I'm going to do a ring stand with a black spandex cover and a white spider web and then a full circle of red, blue, and black balloons. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to take what I just said from my brain and put it down so that when I tell my client what I want to do, because clients don't know some of the lingo that I just used, um, they are going to be able to see exactly what I am thinking and make any edits if there's anything that they want to change. So let's get to it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this top left corner to create a design uh, to go straight down to this custom size. And then I do this 500 by 500, really just a square is mostly what you need. From there, we are going to get the images of the balloons that we want. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to wherever you get your balloons from. I prefer bargain balloons. Um, because I know that they have these images. We're gonna to go to latex balloons, shop by brand, and we're gonna to go to tough text. This does not mean that you have to buy tough text balloons, but the reason that we're shopping tough text is because you will see they have colors, um, I'm sorry, pictures of all of their balloons. So um, we're gonna start with the red ones, scroll down, whichever um, color you're looking at, you wanna to go to the 11 inch because pretty much always with the 11 inch, you'll find that they have this image that I am talking about right here. What Tough Tax has done is taken real life images of pretty much every color of their balloons and uploaded them like this. This is a real picture. They don't all look the same. They are all a little bit different because it's real. So we're gonna click on this and then right click and we're gonna save this to the computer and do that with all of the colors that you need. And then from there, when I go to upload, there are the three colors that I'm gonna be using, red, black, and blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag each of those over did I bring my black over? Okay, and let's get rid of that. And then what we're gonna do is remove the background with this background remover. This is something that is only part of the pro version and to me it is completely worth it just for this one feature. There are a lot of other things, there are a lot of other um, like images and, and um, elements that you have access to with pro, but the background remover alone is worth it. All right, so I have done that with all three of my images. Now I'm gonna shrink them down a bit. And then my vision for this particular setup is that I'm gonna put these on a ring stand. So I need to just, I just need a circle to, to make that. So I'm gonna to go to, um, I'm gonna go over to elements and then I'm gonna to go to this black, cir um, black circle. It's not black, I can just change the color to black. Okay, let's make that bigger. And then in my vision, I want a spider web. So I'm gonna go to elements and it's already here, but we just search elements and I'm just gonna search spider web. And here are all of these options. The graphics are usually what you want. I want something simple. You know, I'm not creating anything intricate like this stuff. This is, this is the best one. So we'll click on that. Obviously it was black. Let's change that color to white. All right, and then let's make that the size we want it to be. Okay, before we uh, put that where it goes, let's put this, um, we're gonna move this black circle, send to back. There's either send backward or send to back. Send to back means we're gonna put it behind literally every other thing on this, um, on this template here. And before I do it, I'm gonna show you. See how the blue, the blue balloons, everything's behind that circle? So when we click on the circle and we click send to back, now everything is in front of it, all right? And this web we also want towards the back. I'm not, I don't want it all the way to the back because that would, um, that would put it behind the black circle. So I'm just gonna hit send backwards. There are keyboard shortcuts that make this a lot faster, um, but I'm just gonna send it backward a little bit at a time in case you're not comfortable with those keyboard shortcuts. I'm just gonna keep going send backward, send backward until it disappears and then I'm just gonna undo it one time. Now I know that it is behind everything except for that black circle. Okay, next, here are our balloons. We need more of these. I'm just gonna click it and this little here, these little two squares with the plus on the first one, that's duplicate. And by doing that, we're just gonna make a handful of each of these colors. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Okay, that's probably enough. 
Now I'm going to start uh, arranging them. So I'm just going to go on a little pattern here. And go back around to the other side. I can always rotate them, get a little bit more out of the size. There we go. Just get that out of the way. Oops. Now we can bring it back. If you haven't caught it, the way that I'm rotating these is once I highlight any particular image, um, there's this little spinny button and I can use that to rotate it however which way that I want. Let's put these black ones on. Okay. And then I don't want to try to squeeze a whole other one in, so I'm just going to make those black ones a little bit bigger. Okay. Don't need this blue one. Just delete. All right. So now I've got my ring filled. And then I also, for this birthday party, bought a... Um, a Spider-Man 4, this that I got from Amazon. So I just went to Amazon, I searched, searched Spider-Man foil number four, or number balloon, which is the, this is the actual one that I bought. And then um, for this one, there's an option to copy image, so I'll have to save it to my computer. So I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna come over here and right click, and I'm gonna paste. Here we go. We gotta do that background remover again. Great, and then we're gonna put that, that's a little bit big, so let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's say we're gonna have that there. And then I also got from Bargain Balloons, let me find it, this guy, the Spider-Man. So same thing, I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna save that to my computer. And then when I come over here to upload, that will be there and we'll remove the background. All right, and then we'll say, probably put him somewhere along here. I think I'm gonna have him kind of higher up. So I don't know if I have the size exactly right on this, but that's okay, this is just a mock-up. And there you have it. This is what my mock-up is gonna be. Or this is what my, um, this is what my design is gonna look like. And then the last thing you can do is go to share and then you can download it to your computer so that then you can share this with your client. One other um, thing that I will share before I go is you can see that I've used this quite a bit. I've got a lot of these tough text images in here. One of them is white and let's go to a new page so I can show you this. So let's remove that background and I'm just gonna make these nice and big so you can see them. Let's say that tough text doesn't have the exact color that you're looking for. Um, you know, it's in a, you're getting a different brand or something like that, um, get these white ones. And then what you can do is go up to edit. And then there are a lot of different ways that you can change the color. So one of them is filter. So you can see all of these filters. If any of these colors work, you know, maybe you need this mint color or something like that. Um, you know, when you, when you put these filters on it, it'll change the colors of the balloons. That's not very realistic. So don't use that. <laughs> The other way that you can change the color of the white balloons is if you go down to this um, effects in the duotone. And then there's also a bunch of those. And if none of these work, the other thing that you can do is, you know, choose something closest. Let's say I want, you know, a, a lilac or something and I just can't find it. Okay, so we'll start with this violet and then you can change the purple until it's what you want. And you have to do these, both of these colors. See, the, the black is now a little bit too light, so I might go up to here, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect, but now I have something closer to a lilac, and I made that out of these white balloons, and then I could add those to my, to my design. So there you have it. That's how you make a digital mock-up from Canva. Um, please let me know if you have questions, if I have missed anything, if I have skipped over anything important. Um, I would love to make more of these if it's helpful. Um, and you need more 
you need more help from me, I would love to help. So let me know.